In this video, we're going to take a couple moments and go over the different types of vinyl we're using in our kits. The most common vinyl we use for our kits is our heavy duty white vinyl. It is a removable vinyl, meaning that if you apply it and then you decide you need to change positions, you can remove the vinyl without removing the paint. The other type of vinyl we use is a clear vinyl. The advantage of clear vinyl is that we're able to print very small detail and still allow the color of the aircraft to come through. It would be very difficult to cut out each of these letters individually. It would be extremely difficult to apply those to our aircraft without getting them crooked. So let's first talk about our white vinyl. As I mentioned earlier, it is a removable vinyl. Oftentimes when I'm applying the vinyl, I don't have the position quite right. It's really nice to be able to peel the vinyl up, reposition it, and smooth it back down. With the non-permanent adhesive, one of the issues that you will likely run into is the decal not sticking well. Now there's a couple things that'll contribute to this. One, if you apply the decal too many times, you're likely gonna have an edge that'll wanna work its way up. And we'll cover how to get those edges to stay down later on in this video. Other things that can contribute to the decal not sticking is the condition of the surface. It is very important that the surface be free of all dirt and all debris. But even if you get your surface completely clean, oftentimes the spray paint can affect how well the decal sticks. Some matte finishes just don't work well with the decals. The clear vinyl decals are not forgiving at all. You wanna make sure that these are very carefully positioned before sticking them to the aircraft. Since the clear vinyl decals are much smaller, they are much easier to apply. Now that we've gone over both types of vinyl, let's go over surface prep. In order to get your decals to stick, the most important thing you can do is to properly prep the surface. You can see that I've got some alcohol. I'm using a lint-free paper towel. I'm simply gonna wipe the surface off. Look at all that dust residue we removed from the canopy. If you don't have alcohol, you can always use a paper towel and water. It just takes a little bit longer before you're able to apply your decal. Now that my surface has been cleaned, I'm gonna apply my first decal here at the back. A lot of times what I'll do, especially on canopies, is I'll take them and I'll fold them in half and create a little bit of a crease right up on this edge. I'm gonna line that up to my reference mark and run it right up against the seam where the two pieces come together. I wanna make sure I got all the bubbles worked out. Once that's done, I'll just work my way forward. You can see that I've had to reposition the final four or five times to get it just like I want. without any bubbles and I think we're good to go. Now let's apply some clear vinyl. Next I'm going to put an insignia out here on the wing. Just like before, we need to prep our surface before applying our decal. We'll give that just a minute or so to dry and then we'll apply our decal. Now that it's dried, we're going to drop our decal in place. Drop it on and smooth it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean up the rest of the aircraft and we're going to start applying the rest of the decals. On this particular livery, most of it is going to be the white vinyl. So if you look here on the side of our Jolly Rogers aircraft, you're gonna notice that we've got some peeling. 
If I roll this over and you look very closely, you're gonna notice a whole lot of dirt. Evidently, I didn't clean the surface well enough at all. Anytime you get dirt, you're gonna have the edges peel. But it's okay, it's an easy fix. I'm gonna show you how to do it. There are a couple different ways that you can fix this. One of the ways is with a hair dryer. Make sure that when using a hair dryer that you keep it far away from the decal. You wanna make sure that you don't melt the decal and you don't melt the foam. The heat of the hair dryer will melt the adhesive and allow the decal to stick once again. Now we'll do this decal. Now let's take a look at another method. So if you take a look at my exhaust decal, you'll see that I didn't clean this at all. Look at all the blue dust. This is never gonna stick, even if I apply heat to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some Aline's Tacky Glue to the decal. Aline's Tacky Glue is one of my favorite glues. It's available everywhere at craft stores, or you can get it off Amazon. I've had this bottle for ages. One bottle will last a very long time. To apply the glue, I'm first gonna squeeze some out on a piece of scrap. You can apply glue to the underside of the decal with your finger or with a paintbrush. You'll notice that the glue really does live up to its name. It's a very tacky glue. If I have a decal that's coming up, I can apply glue and immediately fly. It does take a few hours for it to fully dry, but because of its tackiness, it'll generally stay in place for a flight or two. Here's another edge coming up. I could just apply heat, but since I've got some glue here on my brush, I'll go ahead and glue it down. If it's popping up, I can always run a piece of masking tape across it. This will hold it in place while the glue dries. Well, this covers the types of decals that we're using. It covers surface prep, how to apply your decals, and tips and tricks on how to keep decals in place.